other legal question for you as well, just before we let you go, and we know we're up against time with you. A Tory MP has been told not to attend Parliament as they're under investigation for allegations of rape and sexual assault. Uh, they've not been named, as things stand. If, if they were a Labour MP, would you have removed the party whip and would you like to see this MP actually being named? Because, of course, a lot of the criticism is that this person can still go about their constituency business, they can still mix with some of their constituents. I would hope so. I'd hope the whip would be removed while the investigation uh, takes place. I mean, that is essentially how I think most people in any major public sector job would be would be treated in this position. I, I just think of, of the person who's, who's the alleged victim of this crime. They've made these complaints. I've seen, to be frank, some, some unacceptable comments from Conservative MPs in response to this on, on social media. And I think <laughs> there's a need for the government or whoever is involved in this particular allegation to take this seriously, more seriously than I think we've seen from some colleagues in Parliament. Do you think he, the person should be named? I think um, they should be treated in exactly the same way as anybody else. So I, I don't necessarily think that naming them is the question, but I think that the disciplinary process should reflect what you expect in any other senior position in public life.